Make sure you like and subscribe in the next 4.5 seconds, otherwise this spider will be in your bed tonight. Yo, what is up guys? My name's iMac, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you the best controller settings here in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. This video is honestly going to be insane, and you guys need to watch all the way to the end. But of course, just before we get into it, I would like to let you guys know that I do gift my subscribers all the time here on the channel. So, if you would like the chance to receive a free gift, from me in Fortnite. All you have to do is smash the like button down below and of course subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Once you've done that, comment your Epic Games username down below in the comment section so I can add you guys on Fortnite and of course send you a free gift. Also guys, I recently launched a brand new channel called Hyperwatt and I'm going to be gifting a bunch of people who subscribe to my brand new channel called Hyperwatt with the post notification bell turned on. So guys, what are you waiting for? for, hit the link down below in the description and subscribe to my brand new channel called Hyperwall with the post notification bell turned on for another chance to get a free gift. But yes guys, in this video, I am going to be telling you guys the best controller settings here in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. So guys, if you play on controller, you need to watch this video all the way to the end if you want to get better at Fortnite. But of course guys, to show you this, I need to go into creative. So of course guys, let's load into creative right now guys, this video is going to be insane and of course guys, it's also important that you don't skip any parts of this video. That is right guys, to actually improve your aim guys here in Fortnite and just get better at Fortnite in general, you guys really need to watch this whole video all the way to the end guys, yeah. Make sure you guys keep watching at the end without skipping. By the way guys, let me know down below in the comment section what platform you play on. Do you play on Xbox, maybe you guys play on PlayStation, or maybe you guys play Control on PC or even Nintendo Switch. So of course guys, let me know down below, that is right guys, I want every single person watching this video to let me know down below in the comment section section what platform they actually play on. If you guys didn't know, I play on the Xbox Series S, but guys, of course, go ahead and let me know down below because I'm genuinely interested. But of course, guys, let's land into my island right now, guys. This is about to be insane. Make sure you guys keep watching if you want to find the best settings here inside of Fortnite, guys. This video is about to get crazy. So of course, guys, if we land down, let me just show you my building, guys. I'll start the game real quick here just to give a demonstration, guys, of my building and everything like that, guys. And then I'll reveal my settings here in Fortnite, guys. And of course, show you the best settings here in Season 6, guys. This is genuinely about to get crazy. So, of course, guys, let's just land down here right now and open this chest up. Because, of course, guys, we do need a gun to shoot the AI over there, guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab a gun. What do we get? Oh, okay, a pump shotgun. I can I can use that, definitely. Maybe a scar. Let's go. Oh, okay, now we got a gold pump and a gold scar. I might have to drop the uh, the blue pump right here, guys, for the gold one. Because I do much prefer the gold pump over the blue one. Who win, guys? But now, take a look at my button, guys. Let's show you my button in 3, 2, 1, go. So, as you guys can see, triple ramps like this. Honestly, pretty good, guys. I know I'm the best Fortnite player, guys. But, of course, these settings I'm about to show you help me go from, like, a bad player to, like, kind of average, guys. If you guys didn't know, I used to be terrible at Fortnite, guys, like, a week ago. But then, when I started using these settings, guys, it made me an average player, guys. And, of course, as I keep practicing, guys, I'm going to get so much better with these settings, guys. So, yeah. You really need to watch to the end, guys. Okay, I just messed that up, guys. But, yeah. As you guys can see, I'm not the best player. But, of course, I'm kind of average, guys. So, yeah. And if I keep practicing with these settings, guys, it is going to make me one of the best Fortnite players in history, guys. So, these settings really do work so make sure you guys keep watching so of course guys again if i didn't say this already it doesn't matter what platform you're on guys as long as you're on control these things will of course be good for you because yeah they just help a lot guys yeah it doesn't matter if you guys are on uh if you're on pc with controller xbox like me playstation switch it doesn't matter guys what platform as long as you're on controller so, of course, guys, I'll open up my settings right now here in Fortnite, guys. And, of course, move over to the control settings, guys. And, boom, as you can see, these are my first control settings here in Fortnite. How crazy is that? So, of course, guys, the first thing is control auto run. Now, guys, make sure you turn this on. If you aren't playing with control auto run on, literally, what are you doing? I don't understand, guys. Control auto run is literally one of the best things added, guys, inside of Fortnite. And, genuinely, if you guys aren't playing with it on, I do not know what you guys are doing because you're literally 
actually missing out, guys. It is just insane, and it makes it so much easier to play a game of Fortnite, guys. Because, of course, you don't have to worry about running, guys. It literally just runs for you, guys, and it is one of the best things, guys. So, yeah. If you don't have control or to run turned on, what are you doing? Turn that on right now. It helps out so much. Of course, guys, moving now, build immediately, guys. I personally have this turned off, guys. It, of course, is when switching to a different build piece in Builder Pro, it will try to build immediately, guys. I don't know about this one. I just have it turned off, guys. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if you guys have the one on or off. I personally just prefer to play with it off. How crazy is that? Now, guys, the next one here is edit hold time. And wow, I cannot tell you guys how important it is to make your edit hold time 0.125 seconds. That is right, guys. With this edit hold, with this edit hold time right here of 0.125 seconds, it will make you correct it for now, guys. And it will make your edits like 10 times faster. I'm not sure if you guys saw my edits back there, guys, but they were pretty speedy. So, of course, if you want to get if you guys want to get fast edits like me, make sure you guys set this to 0.125 because wow, it makes you're editing so much faster guys it's honestly insane then of course the next is vibration guys and i cannot stress enough how important it is guys your vibration is turned off that is right guys if your controller is vibrating it actually makes your aim worse yeah that is right guys it might sound fake guys but it is true if your controller vibrates it makes your aim worse because of course it makes your fingers move just like a tiny bit guys and of course with falling you need to be precise so guys if your controller is shaking and you're trying to aim on someone's head this slight movement guys could cause you to miss their head guys Guys, and only get a body shot instead of a headshot, guys. And you could die because of it. So, yeah, it is extremely important, guys. The vibration is turned off. If you have this turned on, what are you doing, guys? Turn it off right now. It is so important. Then, of course, guys, come in on sensitivity, guys. And wow, this needs to be set to five. That is right, guys. Your sensitivity in Fortnite needs to be set to five for both look and aim. How crazy is that? So, of course, guys, yes, it needs to be set on normal plus five, guys, to actually get the best aim here inside of Fortnite, guys. Because if you didn't know, this is the best setting for look and aim sensitivity in Fortnite, guys. You just need to have it exactly on five, guys. That is the best sensitivity. Of course, guys, moving down, the next one is build mode sensitivity multiplier. And, guys, this needs to be set to 3.0 times. That is right, guys. The build mode sensitivity multiplier needs to be set to three times, guys, because, wow, this made me so much better at Fortnite, guys, when I set it to three times, guys. I used to play with it on 2, but then, as soon as I set it to 3, guys, it made me so much better with Fortnite, guys. It is insane. So, wow. You need to set build mode sensitivity multiplier to 3.0 times. How crazy is that? Then, of course, moving down, the next one is edit mode sensitivity multiplier. And, guys, your edit mode sensitivity multiplier needs to be set to 2.5. That is right, guys. This needs to be different, guys, to build mode. It needs to be set to exactly 2.5. How crazy is that? And then, of course, guys, the last sensitivity setting is use advanced options, guys. I need to turn this one off, guys. Advanced options don't really help that much, guys. So yeah, it's important that you guys turn this off. Now, of course, guys, moving down. The next one is control is dead zone. And, guys, your dead zone needs to be set to exactly 10%. That is right, guys. Your dead zone here in Fortnite for both the left and right stick needs to be set exactly to 10%, guys. And that will help you guys improve so much, guys. It is honestly crazy. But yeah, guys, basically, the dead, the dead zone is super important here in Fortnite, guys, because basically, what it does is that it controls, like, the dead zone of your, like, control sticks, guys. I don't really know how to explain it any better, guys. It's, like, hard to explain, but yes, guys, your dead zone needs to be set, guys, to, of course, that same setting as me, guys. Because, of course, because of course guys, it is the best one here inside of Fortnite. How crazy is that? Now, guys, if we move over, guys, these are the more advanced settings here inside of Fortnite, guys. So, of course, if we keep going down, guys, uh, as you guys can see, these are some more advanced settings here inside of Fortnite, guys. These controller options right here, guys. And wow, these controller options are honestly crazy, as you guys can see. So, of course, if we keep going down here inside of Fortnite, guys, I've just turned like the advanced options on, guys. As I said, if you just want to play normal, guys, make sure you just turn this off, guys. But of course, if you want to actually go ahead and make yourself even better, guys, I okay, guess, so guys, basically, if you're just the average Fortnite player, guys, make sure you use advanced options is turned off. But guys, if you want to get competitive here in Fortnite and make yourself even better, make sure you turn this on, guys. And Wow, as you guys can see, these are the advanced settings here on Fortnite, guys, and wow, these can make you so much better. How crazy is that? So, yeah, guys, basically, these are my advanced settings here on Fortnite, guys. So, feel free to copy them right now. I'm not going to read through every single advanced setting, guys, because if you didn't know, that will literally take so long to do, guys. We'll be here all night if I wrote through all these, but guys, I'll totally go through them right now, and feel free to copy me if you guys would like to. There you guys can see, these are my advanced settings here on Fortnite. How crazy is that? So, yeah, guys, basically, I'm not going to read through all these, but of course, course, if you guys want to, feel free to copy my advanced settings, guys, because, of course, they can make you 10 times better. How crazy is that? 
Now guys, it's of course time for the part of the video where I show you again how good these settings can make you. By the way guys, let me know down below what you think of my Wildcat skin. It's a wait, I think I accidentally turned vibration on guys, let me just turn it off real quick, that was an accident. Why is my vibration turned on? That was literally an accident guys, I don't even know. Why is that turned on guys? I think I accidentally turned it on. Turn it off guys, boom. But yes guys, basically, let me know down below what you guys think of my Wildcat skin because I actually bought this skin guys just like the other week or like a month ago now. And it's only pretty clean, clean skins guys, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of it. But as you guys can see, my edits are like super speedy here in Fortnite now with these brand new settings guys look at my edits guys they are honestly crazy here inside of Fortnite how crazy is that and of course guys like I said I'm not a professional player or anything guys I'm not that good but last week literally before I used these settings guys I was a complete bot at Fortnite that is right guys just the other week before I turned on these settings guys I was a complete bot and now these settings have turned me into an average player how crazy is that and of course if you guys didn't know if I keep if I keep playing with these settings guys keep using them it is going to make me 10 times better the game guys yeah I highly recommend recommend these settings here inside of one guys because they are just some of the best settings and you guys don't want to miss out guys so yeah if you do want to go ahead and get better at Fortnite guys like me guys I'm proving right now guys I'm literally improving getting better every day guys you need to use these settings but of course guys let's finish this video with a thunder pump guys yes you already know we have to finish this video with a thunder pump guys on the AI if you guys can see that is the AI down there and of course guys we're gonna finish this video off with a fun with a thunder pump how crazy is that so of course so let me just put it up right now guys and we're going to finish up with the fun thunder pump here in Fortnite, guys. Drop a like if you're excited for this thunder pump, guys, because wow, it is going to be crazy, guys. We're building up right now. Let's get as high as we can. This is going to be so much fun. Guys, make sure you keep watching because this thunder pump is going to be insane, guys. You don't want to miss it. Guys, imagine I missed. I'd be so sad. But of course, guys, make sure you keep watching because this thunder pump is going to be insane here inside of Fortnite. It is going to be one of the best thunder pumps you've ever seen, guys. So yeah, make sure you keep watching. It's going to be crazy. So of course, let's just position ourselves perfectly, guys, for this thunder pump. It is going to be such a crazy thunder pump here in Fortnite. How crazy is that? So of course, guys, as you can see, the AI is down there, guys. Let's do it in three, two, one, guys. Give me a countdown. Ten. Make sure you guys keep watching as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I almost fell there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, guys. Go, Thunder Pump. Oh my goodness, guys. This is going to be crazy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh, okay, we hit him for a bit. Let's go. We got him, guys. That was the best Thunder Pump here in Fortnite, guys. But yeah, that is basically the video, guys. I just wanted to make this video, guys, to let you know the best settings for control here in Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 6. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe with the post notification bell turned on. And hopefully, I can see you guys in another video. Goodbye.